Hey guys, Millennial Farmer here. Um, this is my first video of what will hopefully be a bunch of videos. I'm a fifth generation farmer from Minnesota. My great grandfather homesteaded this farm uh, in 1876. He came over from Sweden and we still farm this in our family today. Um, I started this video because I'm concerned about the disconnect uh, between farmers and, uh, and consumers. Um, there's a lot of stuff out there on the internet. Most of it isn't true. Uh, a lot of it's full of half-truths. Uh, and it's really hard for the consumers, I think, to really understand what goes on on the farms and what we do out here and why. Um, so I'm going to be taking a bunch of videos. And by no means am I a computer guy. Um, so hopefully this goes well and I can take a bunch of videos and I'm just going to go through and, and uh, do completely unedited stuff and show you guys what we're doing and hopefully... Um, you guys will ask some questions, maybe I can answer some questions, and I'm sure I'll have some questions for you too. I'm sure I'll learn as much as hopefully some of you guys do during all this. Um, but it's a nice uh, sunny day today. It's a Sunday late morning, and we decided to get out of the house, me and a couple of the um, our two older kids. Um, there's Onyx and Rhiannon. I took them out here today. There they are. Got them on their bikes. It's a nice sunny day, so I'm going to... Uh, wash one of our semis we do a lot of hauling in the winter and uh up here in minnesota the roads are really salty so um it gets really corrosive really hard on a lot of stuff so at the end of the winter when we're done hauling for the winter we're pretty sure that the roads are going to stay cleaner um, we want to wash the trucks up so that everything underneath doesn't rust up so i'm going to be pressure washing this thing this morning so it'll be a nice sunday morning to do that and hopefully um, we get a few of you to subscribe to this channel we're getting ready to start our spring planting right now and uh, we're working on all kinds of equipment and getting it ready to go so we'll be in the field here in I'd say two to three weeks all depending on weather um, but stick around and I'll hopefully bring you guys through a whole season of what we do out here on the farm so make sure you subscribe to the channel and stop by often because I want to put a lot of these videos up